so hello everyone today we are going to discuss the b problem of board process round 873 division 2 permutation swap so let's discuss the problem so you are given an unsalted permutation p1 p2 till pn to solve the permutation you choose a constant k k should be greater than or equals to 1 and do some operations on the permutation in one per operation you can choose two integers i and j such that i minus j equals to k and then swap pi and pj so you have to choose two indexes i and j and such that i minus j should be equal to k and then you have to swap pi and pj so what is the maximum value of k that you can choose to solve the given permutation so like if you are regular with cpu you know what is permutation so a permutation is an array consisting of n distinct integer from 1 to n so like you are writing a permutation of 5 so you have a array of from every number from 1 to 5 in distincts like 1 should be appear 1 times 2 should be appear on 2 times second thing is sorted and unsorted permutation so like in permutation like if we are writing a permutation of 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 this is will be the permutation and this will be also the permutation 1 4 3 2 5 so if you write, write the indexing 1 back indexing so 1 will be at 1 place 2 will be at 2 3 will be at 3 index 4 will be at 4 index 5 will be at 5 index this is called sorted permutation and if the indexing and the number is not in the similar fashion like 1 is here at 1 but 4 is at 2 4 should be appeared at 4th position but here 4 is appearing at 2 so this is called unsorted permutation so what you have to do you have to make the permutation sorted by applying some operations how you will apply the operations you have given you have to choose two index i and j such that its difference equals to k and then you have to swap two elements like if you are here choosing the fourth two and four so if you swap this number what it will be it will be one two three four five so how much swapping you have done so we, what you have done you have done 4 minus 2 equals to 2 so here k will be equals to 2 because you have swap 4th index with 2 index so here k will be at 2 so what we have to do we have to maximize the value of k such that i minus j equals to k for swapping so let's take an example here like if you see indexing if you write i will write indexing Two, five, six, seven. so it's a one base indexing so how much like this is unsorted permutation i have to make it in this way one two three four five six seven got it so i have to make this permutation in this way so how i will swap so how much swapping i need for particular number like if i want to swap if i want to make this four at its correct place it will be at correct place at its fourth index so how much swapping per element needed so you can just have a difference this will be the sorting this will be swapping needed the difference between the number and the index so like here it will be 3 0 0 swapping because 2 it as its correct place then how much swapping 3 will be needed then then 3 needed 0 3 and 6 okay if you take one more example mm. 
so how much swapping it is two 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 for every element we have to need a two two swapping so if you watch correct carefully if we take the gcd of all this number you we will get the required maximum if we take three then we can swap all the numbers look if we can take three we can swap all the numbers for here if we take two we can swap all the numbers so what is the gcd gives gcd gives you the maximum gcd gives you always gives you maximum maximum divisor so what i needed i needed the maximum value of k so i have to calculate the gcd of all the difference between the index and the number so at the end of our answer will be that we have to calculate the gcd of all the difference between the number and its in index be careful that this will be the absolute value this will be the absolute value it won't be a negative value so always use the absolute function so let's jump to the code so like i have took the number input and then i have used the similar way i have took the difference and i have initialized the mx equal to zero and then i took the gcd of all the differences don't care about this i it won't it wasn't useful that time so just i have to calculate the gcd of all the numbers so all the difference between the index and the number that will be our answer the gcd of all the numbers if you have any doubt please comment and thank you for watching